Today I'm bringing you four fun and neutral patriotic decor ideas and inspiration. I hope you enjoy them. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Oh, before we get started, Crafty DIYs on a Budget is a Facebook group that I run with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. The link is gonna be in the description box below. I hope you join us. Starting off with DIY number one. I'm taking these three neutral fabrics that I got from, what'd you call them neutral? I don't know. It's a red gingham check and it's a black and cream gingham check and a ticking fret fabric, I guess you'd call that. Anyways, so I got those from Hobby Lobby and I got them on sale and I just printed out a star shape and now I'm trying to cut around. It would have just been way easier for me to pick it up and cut it with scissors, but I thought I was kind of like doing a thing by not using my scissors. Anyways, it took me a little bit of time and I still had to go back in with scissors. So word to the wise, just go ahead and cut it with scissors. I'm going to be making like little puffy stars and to do that, I'm not going to sew them or anything like that. I'm just going to use some liquid stitch and I'm just trying to apply a very thin line all the way around, but I'm not trying to go all the way around because I need a hole for me to be able to put my stuffing in. And after I apply the glue, then I just grab the other matching piece of fabric and I lay it down on top and then I let it dry completely. Now here's where I kind of messed up. I meant to go all the way around and like, um, I meant to go all the way around with the glue and then it was just getting a little bit messy. So I decided I'm just going to put some dots and then I'll go back in and put some more dots and kind of connect the dots so that it's all glued all the way around. I should have just drawn a really fine bead of glue and glued it all down and left an opening for the stuffing. So the idea is I would have left two sides not glued together, but then as I'm stuffing it, I notice like on some of them right there, I didn't glue that part. So I have to go back and glue that. But anyway, it all works out and it all turns out just fine, but I should have just taken a little bit more time in the beginning and glued it all the way around and left myself a large enough opening to stuff it with. And then instead of trying to go back and glue, cause that was just, that was not really working. But y'all, even despite my little kind of gluing issues, these turned out super cute. And I just hung them up on a little piece of twine with a clothespin and I added some beads just to kind of add some extra interest. And I just think they looked so good. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but I'm hot. Um, I was just out in the garage and I was using the jigsaw to cut out a heart. And um, <laughs> it's not perfect, but, and then the second heart, cause I was making two hearts, the second heart, it just broke. Well, I was like, you know, and I don't know why. <laughs> so, well, Ron's already laying down, so I can't really ask him, but I'll ask him tomorrow, like, hey babe, <laughs> what did I do wrong? but it's fine. It's totally fine. Even though it's like a thousand degrees outside, it's like eight something at night. <laughs> it's still super hot in Texas, but anyways, okay. I'm going to get to some of the other DIYs. So as y'all could tell, I was a hot, sweaty mess. And now I'm just taking some Waverly wax in the color antique and I'm painting it on. And then I will take a damp rag and wipe off the excess. This is the way that I applied this kind of stain. I know some people, do it a little bit differently. Some people actually just dip their rag into the stain and then do it that way. But I mean, either way works as long as you get the stain on or your color of choice, because honestly you could paint this, you know, red, white, or blue or whatever to have a more traditional look to your pieces. Now I'm going to go in with some washi tape that I did find at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be creating some lines so that I can paint on it later. And I'm just using a little small piece of washi tape as a spacer. And then I'm adding another length of the washi tape. 
And I also wanted to share with you guys, this video is part of the Crafted by Corey Minis Challenge. And there's a whole playlist. It's gonna be linked in my description box below. I really do hope you check it out. And I really hope you check out Corey's channel. She creates so many fun things. And I just love doing this challenge because I love all things mini. And I love tier trade decor. So it's just right up my alley. So we have the washi tape on. Now it's time to paint and I am using Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I like to use plaster as opposed to white, although I'm not opposed to using the white, but I just like a more neutral, warmer color to go against the Waverly wax. So again, you guys could do the red, white, you could do red and white stripes here, all kinds of things to make it match your decor. And everybody's favorite part, the reveal. When you pull back the tape and you see that crisp line. Just so satisfying. Okay, now for the other heart. I was going for the, I was gonna paint on stars and I thought that was a little too adventurous for myself. And so I thought, I'll just do polka dots. But then the polka dots were already starting to look a little too uniform for me. And then I wasn't exactly sure how to fix it. So if you have any ideas on a good way to do polka dots, I'm gonna have to watch a couple of videos because I wanted them more random looking and not quite as many on there, but it was supposed to look like stars. So, you know, kind of looks like a lot of stars. And this is how they look together. This is how they turned out. I think they are super cute. And again, I do wish I'd kind of gone a little bit less on the polka dots, maybe a smaller size polka dot, or maybe just taking the time and did the stars. Because there's stencils out there, I could have done stars. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Gosh, y'all, we're already on DIY number three. This wood star is something that I cut out in my garage went out garage how do you garage <laughs> anyways i cut it out i use my jigsaw and i'm getting better at it i do have it's not a super smooth cut but i did but you know what it's a learning process it's a learning curve for me and i'm just applying waverly wax in the color antique and i'm painting it on and using a damp sponge to wipe it off so this star it was looking a little too plain and i wanted to kind of distress it a little bit and so I'm just taking some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I thought, I'll just go around the edges. And I thought, no, I'll go across the top. And then, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Just kind of swiping across with a chippy brush. And I'll be honest, I actually don't really like the chippy brush, at least the one that I'm using. I don't like it as much because I feel like it loses a lot of bristles when I'm using it and I don't feel like I'm using it too aggressively or anything. It's like, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just kind of gently swiping. So I don't know, give me your thoughts on chippy brushes. Do you have a favorite? Where did you get yours? I need to know. And y'all know, I've got to have some twine somewhere in my projects. So I took a piece of twine, jute twine that I got on Amazon. I've got that linked in the description box below, but I'm just wrapping it around a couple times and then I'm going to tie it together. Now I do do what they call a surgeon's knot where I kind of run the, the um, string around twice and then pull it tight. It's supposed to help stay tighter. Anyway, who knows? I don't know. I'm not a surgeon. I just heard somebody say that. So, and then I'm just making a simple um, shoestring bow. And I've got that little heart, wood heart. I don't know where I got it from, but you know, it was in my stash. And so I'm going to take some hot glue and glue that heart to the center of the star. And y'all, I'm just fussing with that bow a little too much. It's, it's not that serious, Lisa. Come on. So, um, yeah, just taking some hot glue. For a while, my hot glue gun was leaking. I don't know why, but it stopped leaking. So all is good in my world. And this is how it turned out. I actually really like it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's way too much. That's too heavy on the distressing. But as I keep looking at it, I'm like, you know what? That turned out pretty cute. 
All right, y'all, the last project for today, I'm taking this little chime set. Create, I don't know what it's called. You can make the chime out of it, wind chime set thing. It's got the USA thing on there and I've got a piece of a hymnal actually. They were throwing up one. I'm like, no, 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 wait, I need that in my life. So I took the one that says America the Beautiful and here I'm just trying to figure out how to place it so you can kind of see the words like America the Beautiful and also the, um, you know, the uh, lyrics and the sheet music stuff. So um, yeah, just trying to place it and Captain is obviously not helping me. So I decide where I'm going to get the most bang for my buck, if you will. And I'm just tracing it around with a pencil. And then I just go in and cut out the shape with a pair of scissors. I mean, like, obviously, did I need to include this? I don't know why I included this in the video. And then I decided that the, the imprint on the face of the shape, wood shape, was a little too dark and I was worried about it, you know, coming through the sheet music. So I'm just giving it a coat of Waverly. You know what? I think it's Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I'm actually using white because you're not going to see it. You know what I mean? And then I'm taking one of my favorite things, Mod Podge. You know, Mod Podge is kind of a funny thing. And I've seen a couple different tutorials on how to do it a little bit differently. But this time, I'm just applying some Mod Podge to the front. And I'm spreading it around with my silicone. I think it's actually a makeup brush. I got mine on Amazon, but you can find these at the Dollar Tree in the makeup section. And then I gently place that... Um, piece of paper that I cut out on top and I'm taking a kind of damp rag and I'm just pressing down and it makes for me it makes almost all of my like creases or lines go away and it it smooths it out for me but I saw this one lady do it she applied the Mod Podge let it dry then she put the thing on there and then she put a uh, like a towel or whatever over it and then she used her heat press to kind of remelt the Mod Podge so I don't know maybe I'll try that in my next video and normally I just take my finger sander or the block sander or even like a you know nail file or something like that and I normally do that to kind of take the um, just kind of sand away the edges of the sheet music and normally it works great but this little piece of wood was kind of splintering off a little bit. So I had to be kind of careful to not too like passionately. <laughs> uh, see, I'm kind of picking where it's like tearing apart a little bit. But anyway, I just had to be a little extra careful when I was sanding so as not to make it splinter anymore. And now it took me a bit to kind of figure out where I wanted to place it. This piece of wood that I'm placing it on top on is actually the... Um, it held those little wood shapes and I got it from Dollar Tree. I've gotten one, there's one very, very similar at Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree for a hot minute sold these. And so I bought it and I put it in another container with my other wood pieces. And I thought this would make a great like little plaque to um, glue something on, like the United States. So that's what I'm doing. And then I don't do too many messy bows and um, if I do, I do them a little larger. But anyway, this one was a smaller one. So I just had some of these scraps from when I was cutting out from the um, stars from the first project. And I'm just kind of laying them down, just, you know, crisscrossing them back and forth. And that's what I'm going to make my messy bow with. And all you do is basically kind of tie them together. And then I just hot glue them to the top of this little plaque thing. And it makes a cute little decor piece. And this is how it turned out. So um, all my efforts to make sure that America the Beautiful was on there, like you can't even see the words. <laughs> so I really probably need to go back and kind of glue the messy bow so that you can see the words, but you can definitely see the lyrics and the rest of the sheet music. So I think it looks nice and I hope you like it too. And that's what I have for y'all today. Four neutral rustic 4th of July decor ideas. I hope you enjoyed them and thank you so much for spending time with me today and don't forget if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram it's Our Grey House but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!